Ladies and gents, from Rusiji Reacts, and this is Nuclear Energy Explains. How does it work? Part one out of three. Well, the channel covers that in a nutshell. Nuclear Energy Explained. How does it work? Nuclear energy is a controversial subject. The pro and anti-nuclear lobbies fight furiously. And it's difficult to decide who is right. So we're trying to clear up the issue in this video. We discuss how we got to where we are today as the basis for discussion. Next week, we'll be looking at the arguments for and against nuclear power in detail. Okay, so that's what the other parts are. Yeah, nuclear energy. Basically, you know, nuclear plants, right? The technology in this area is crucial. People think that renewable energies like, you know, wind energy and solar panels are better and more advanced uh, than nuclear energy. I don't know how that works. Sun works on the nuclear energy, nuclear fusion. That's what the whole sun is, right? There is no better energy source in the entire universe than nuclear energy. But granted, whatever technology we have right now is not that efficient. Even though we know how to make it efficient somewhat, there are hurdles, but every frontier has that. Uh, we can figure it out. But just saying that, no, nuclear energy is bad. Let's just discard it. You know, just solar panel is the answer. It just feels weird. I'm not saying solar panels are not advanced because, you know, advanced civilization uh, model gives you Dyson sphere, basically, you know, encompassing entire sun with solar panel sphere. That is solar panel in the end. But still, if you can generate energy with nuclear power, that is generating energy rather than capturing. That is the next level thing. Like I said, that is how the universe uh, makes the energy that's how the stars make energy right so nuclear energy how does it work well for right now first of all uh, nuclear fission right uh, splitting of the atom yeah uranium basically right now it's being used splitting of the atom basically creates heat a lot of it that heat is used to boil water that water goes to the you know generator basically right the same technique, wherever is, you know, water is involved, you know, hydro dams and everywhere, that same technique. But in this sense, steam is created by doing nuclear fission. That's how the nuclear plants work right now. Granted, they, you know, using uranium right now is, you know, kind of risky in a way that, you know, reaction is hard to control, even though nowadays, whatever plants we have, the newer plants is pretty efficient. There are ideas like thorium and things like that that could be really efficient, right? I mean, that that is not that volatile. That doesn't create that much of waste and it's just better all around. So nuclear energy is the future, eventually. I mean, right now we can all just, you know, make solar panels and things like that. But eventually, when we reach a certain level in our civilization, we will need to create immense excess energies which will only be created by nuclear energy. So yeah, let's do this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I know we start videos to react to more. I love science topic. So you know, if you if you like them too, I guess you know, uh, like and subscribe, comment down if you want to react to any science topic like that because I love reacting to videos like this. And yeah, let's watch this one. Have you ever been in an argument about nuclear power? We have, and we found it frustrating and confusing. So let's try and get to grips with this topic. It all started in the 1940s. After the shock and horror of the war and the use of the atomic bomb, nuclear energy promised to be a peaceful spin-off of the new technology, helping the world get back on its feet. Everyone's imagination was running wild. Would electricity become free? Could nuclear power help settle the Antarctic? Would there be nuclear-powered cars, planes, or houses? It seemed that this was yeah, just- Yeah, let's a start the Corvega plant and create all the, you know, nuclear core-powered cars. That's a follow-up reference, by the way. Two years of hard work away. One thing was certain, the future was atomic. Just a few years later, there was a sort of atomic age hangover. As it turned out, nuclear power was very complicated and very expensive. Turning physics into engineering was easy on paper, but hard in real life. Also, private companies thought that nuclear power was much too risky. Obviously, you're playing at the next level uh, technology, next level of science, right? I mean, we might be as primitive as like, look, we don't have any comparative civilization to compare where we are at 
in the technology and in overall civilization. Like, are we still somewhat primitive thinking that we are advanced? We don't know. We have no other civilizations to compare to. There are no other aliens. But we might as well be, you know, uh, close to being primitive, right? Only somewhat advanced with, what, with whatever we have right now. We are still using ballistic weapons. So the point is, with all of that, we found a nuclear power, right? I mean, that is big. That is the last level shit. That is how the star works. Nuclear fusion, nuclear fission is how the universe and create generates power. Is how the stars work. That is the top of the level uh, technology. People say if aliens come and if they are so advanced, we wouldn't even be able to touch them. Yeah, but if you throw a hydrogen bomb at anything, it vaporizes. Whether it's doesn't matter how advanced the alien is, that is no defense against you know nuclear fusion basically. So we have something that is way too advanced, and we figure it out at the you know age where we might as well be close to primitive, even with all our technologies. Because you know if we if we just you know put all the other scientific theories that that are out there and imagine what we can do in you know far future. There is so much technologies that we have to find right now, right? We have to develop. We are not even close to that. So that's why I'm saying we might as well be close to primitive. But nuclear fusion, nuclear fission, this uh, basically this science, this technology that we found is pretty damn advanced. So figuring that out and creating plants, of course, that's going to be harder. That's going to be hurdles. But that doesn't mean you just throw it out. As an investment, most of them would much rather stick with gas, coal and oil. But there were many people who didn't just want to abandon the promise of the atomic age, an exciting new technology, the prospect of enormously cheap electricity, the prospect of being independent of oil and gas imports, and in some cases, a secret desire to possess atomic weapons provided a strong motivation to keep going. Nuclear power's finest hour finally came in the early 1970s when war in the Middle East caused oil prices to skyrocket worldwide. Now, commercial interest and investment picked up at a dazzling pace. More than half of all the nuclear reactors in the world were built between 1970 and 1985. But which type of reactor yeah. to build? At the time where everybody panicked like holy shit we are dependent on the oil and we don't even have it. How is our world going to survive? So everybody just panicked and just thought, you know what, for long term thing, we should create lots of nuclear plants. So we don't have to go through this again. How many different types there were to choose from? A surprising underdog candidate won the day, the light water reactor. It wasn't very innovative and it wasn't too popular with scientists, but it had some decisive advantages. It was there, it worked, and it wasn't terribly expensive. Yeah. So what does a light water reactor do? Well, the basic principle is shockingly simple. It heats up water using an artificial chain reaction. Nuclear fission releases several million times more energy than any chemical reaction could. Really have Like in every video, he gives this information. This is not how, you know, atoms look. This is not how this looks. He always gives it for, I mean, no shit. The elements on the brink of stability, like uranium-235, get bombarded with neutrons. The neutron is absorbed, but the result is unstable. Most of the time, it immediately splits into fast-moving, lighter elements, some additional free neutrons, and energy in the form of radiation. The radiation heats the surrounding water, while the neutrons repeat the process with other atoms, releasing more neutrons and radiation in a closely controlled chain reaction. Very different from the fast, destructive runaway reaction in an atomic bomb. In our light water reactor, a moderator is needed to control the neutron's energy. Simple, ordinary water does the job, which is very practical since water is used to drive the turbines anyway. The light water reactor became prevalent because it's simple and cheap. However, it's neither the safest, most efficient, nor technically elegant nuclear reactor. The renewed nuclear hype lasted barely a decade though. In 1979, the Three Mile Island nuclear plant in Pennsylvania barely escaped a catastrophe when its core melted. In 1986, the Chernobyl catastrophe directly threatened Central Europe with a radioactive cloud, and in 2011, the drawn-out Fukushima disaster sparked new discussions and concerns. While in the 1980s, 218 new nuclear power reactors went live, their number and nuclear's global share of electricity production has stagnated since the end of the 80s. So what's the situation today? 
Today, nuclear energy meets around 10% of the world's energy demand. There are about four- I was surprised that France's most of the energy comes from nuclear power. That's something, right? 139 nuclear reactors in 31 countries. About 70 new reactors are under construction in 2015, most of them in countries which are growing quickly. All in all, 160 new reactors are planned worldwide. Most nuclear reactors were built more than 25 years ago with pretty old technology. More than 80% are various types of light water reactor. Today, many countries are faced with a choice. The expensive replacement of the aging reactors, possibly with more efficient but less tested models, or a move away from nuclear power towards newer or older technology with different cost and environment. That's what Germany is doing right now. You know, shutting down the old nuclear plants, whether because of the fear of it, or you know, building another one is pretty costly, so maybe that's the reason, but they are doing more of a, you know, uh, old technology plants and shutting down the nuclear plant, which is, you know, really fucked up in today's age. The global warming is becoming real and real, even bigger threat now. Impacts. So, should we use nuclear energy? The pro yeah. and contra arguments will be presented here next week. Subscribe, and then you won't miss it. Our channel has... Yes, nuclear uh, waste is a real issue. It's a massive issue. But at least it doesn't give us global warming, right? So that is global warming is the literal immediate threat we have. So yeah, yeah it's better than the fracking, uh, basically. So yeah, nuclear plants are good. The new technologies are needed to develop, I guess. Uh, you know, countries needs to, you know, invest in this, uh, you know, scientific sector. Uh, give budget to scientists to you know look into this a bit more so they can come up with newer technologies and breakthroughs but if you are not doing that you're going to be stuck here basically but nuclear energy is the main way to generate energy there can be right i mean you could switch to uh, solar panels that is fine but eventually there will be one day it doesn't matter how long in the future doesn't matter how long in the future but there will be a time where you will have to, uh, you know, invest in nuclear energy a lot. Because, uh, you know, the, this is how the stars make energy. So this is how you, you have to make energy too, I guess. So everyone, that was nuclear energy. Explained by the channel, because in a nutshell, if you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Rick Sunday, there's a link in the description. Check out the cards, check out the end cards, and yeah, I'll see you next time.